Hey guys, welcome to Nintendo Week. I'm Allison. Today on the show, we'll check out Disney Epic Mickey. We'll also take a look at UDraw Studio and the game Fluidity from the WiiWare service. Also, Gary and I were supposed to preview Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition, but I don't know where he is. Hey, Allison, on vacation. Bye. Oh no, he's gone. I need co hosts. Gonna be a good show. What's that smell? Elephant. Most of us think of Mickey Mouse as a pretty mild-mannered character. But when he was first created, Mickey was a bit mischievous. And it's that rascally version of Mickey Mouse that stars in the game Disney Epic Mickey. Just like his character in the movie Fantasia, Mickey is messing with the sorcerer Yen Sid. When Yen Sid goes to sleep, Mickey tries to use his magical paintbrush. He's in way over his head and he accidentally creates the monstrous phantom blot. Then, trying to cover his mistake, Mickey spills paint and thinner all over Yen Sid's world of things that have been forgotten. And that creates the world of Wasteland. Mickey flees and never looks back. Until one night when the phantom blot pulls him right out of his bed and into Wasteland. And that's where the adventure begins. Right off the bat, you know you're in for a totally different experience. Here you are controlling one of the best loved cartoon characters in the world. And he looks like Mickey, and he moves like Mickey, but the environment he's in is dark, dangerous, and ravaged by paint thinner. It's your mission to defeat the Phantom Blot and save Wasteland with just one weapon, the magic paintbrush. You have blue paint that restores, and green paint thinner that erases. Say, for example, you come across a couple of seers, minions of the phantom block. It's totally up to you whether you want to paint them and make them friendly or use thinner to destroy them. It's a choice you'll need to make over and over again in the game. And how you play actually has consequences in the story. Mickey has some other moves along with painting and thinning. He can double jump, which allows him to cover more distance. He also has a spin move, which lets him interact and break some of the objects in the environment. Most of the gameplay in Disney Epic Mickey takes place in distorted versions of the world of Disney. So a fairy tale castle becomes Dark Beauty Castle, and places that resemble Adventureland or Main Street USA from the Disney theme parks are reimagined here in a way that feels dark and full of danger. But the game also sends Mickey back to his roots. To move from place to place in Wasteland, you'll need to play through 2D side-scrolling stages that are inspired by actual Mickey Mouse cartoons. So one minute you might be battling a giant clock tower as a demented version of It's a Small World After All plays. And then next you're jumping around in a Steamboat Willie inspired level. This game is huge. We could keep talking about it all day. And after you play, you'll never look at Mickey Mouse the same way again. Disney Epic Mickey is out now. Super Mario Brothers debuted 25 years ago on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And to celebrate a quarter century of mushrooms, coins, and princess saving, Nintendo is releasing Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition. This collection includes Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, all of which have graphics and audio that have been enhanced from the original versions. The package also includes a 32-page booklet about the history of Super Mario Bros., a special message from creator Shigeru Miyamoto, and never-before-seen original artwork. 
It also comes with a 20-track CD of music and sound effects from Super Mario Bros. to Super Mario Galaxy 2. The CD was compiled in part by composer Koji Kondo, who's been creating music for Mario games since 1985. So you know it's going to be the best stuff. Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition will be released on December 12th. But don't get left out, it really is limited. We'll take a closer look at all the games next week. UDraw Studio is a new art game that you play using the UDraw game tablet accessory. I'm going to tell you all about it and Chelsea's going to demonstrate. You ready, Chelsea? I sure am. Let's go. The stylus of the UDraw game tablet gives you one-to-one -one control as if you were holding a real pen or pencil. Chelsea is controlling that paintbrush icon with the stylus. To select something, she just points to it and presses down on the nib. First, you choose a canvas and you have lots of options. So many options. Check it out. So we have notebook paper, watercolor, wood, whiteboard, cardboard. Oh, let's just go with regular canvas. Nice. Now you pick an environment for your virtual canvas. To get the creative juices flowing, let's see what we got. Oh, art class, appropriate. Beach house, mm, sidewalk. How about lake? Lake, it's very fun. nice, very autumnal, I like that. All right, so now we're ready to go. Let's check out the toolkit. The game's toolkit is like a whole art studio. You have ink, paint, chalk, crayons, markers, sponges, an airbrush, a color fill tool, and over 100 stamps. Plus, there are a ton of color palettes to work with. All right, Chelsea, show us what you got. Okay, let's try, I like the sponge tool. Maybe a nice purple. It automatically gives you an awesome stippled sponge effect. And look at this, if I go back over the same area twice, it makes it darker. Very nice, I like the texture there. All right, let's do the pen tool. Mm -hmm. Versatile, lets you draw fine lines, you can write draw blobs, that's my specialty right there, <laughs> and check this out. If I want to fill it in, in an instant, I can select the color fill tool. Ta-da! Oh, nice. Awesome. This is one of my favorite tools, the airbrush tool. How about a nice yellow? And watch this, it's like graffiti. Cool. Cool, huh? And okay, this is my favorite. I have 100 stamps to choose from. There are animals, people, shapes. I like this one. How about cheese? How about cheese? Why not? Nice. Why not cheese? Cheese is obviously orange. I can uh, make it different sizes. And there we go. All done. Nice work. Thank you. Now Chelsea can save and export her picture to an SD card and print it out. Ta-da! Gorgeous. Thank you. I love it. UDraw Studio is a totally new way to use your Wii. The game tablet peripheral comes with the game. It's available now. And for other games that use the UDraw game tablet accessory, you can check out Dude's Big Adventure and Pictionary, also in stores now. In Fluidity from the WiiWare service, you play as a different kind of hero, water. You're trying to save a magic book called the Aquaticus from a mysterious enemy known only as the Influence. To do that, you have to actually enter the book and flow through its pages. If you've ever poured water into a glass, you already know how to play. Tilt the Wii Remote controller in the direction you want the water to go, and it flows that way. How far and how quickly you tilt it affects how the water moves. And if you raise the Wii Remote controller quickly, it jumps. You have to keep the water together though. Any water left behind will eventually evaporate. I'm looking for rainbow drops hidden in each chapter of the Aquaticus. Every drop I grab gets rid of some of the influence and helps me open up new parts of the book. To find more drops, you have to complete missions like this one, where Daniel has to be a one-puddle fire squad. You have to move quickly to put out all the fires, or else they'll flare up again. Nice job. Thanks. Okay, now in this next part, you have to combine tilting and jumping. There steady we go. Steady hands, steady hands. You got all the fires. And there's a rainbow drop. There are lots of hazards throughout the Aquaticus, like goop slugs. No! It's a good thing I have a few more beakers of water. To 
take out a goop slug, you need to time it just right. There are so many different kinds of puzzles to solve in fluidity. To get the next rainbow drop, I have to get that gear above the empty bucket. Just a little more water. Yes! yes. And then I use the water to move the gear over to this mechanism, and voila, the door opens. As you progress through the game, you get new abilities, like the power to turn into an explosive ball of water, an ice cube, and steam. New forms mean ingenious new puzzles, and we'll check some of those out next week. Fluidity is available now from the WiiWare service. Time to say so long to yet another Nintendo week. Gary's gonna be back next time, and we'll play GoldenEye 007. Bye, Chelsea. And we'll also take a closer look at Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition. Bye, Daniel. And then we'll give Namco Museum Megamix a spin. Bye, Allison. Bye, Beth. Aren't you going to levitate or disappear or something? <laughs> no. This co-host takes the door. She blew up the door.